Hello, this is Justin at the Tech Train here. Even if you've been using Microsoft Excel for years, I'm confident that at least some of these keyboard shortcuts will be new to you. And there'll be at least one that you'll say, how did I not know that before? Not only will many of these shortcuts be new to even experienced spreadsheet users, but I also think they are all incredibly useful and can be used to save considerable time. Let me know in the comments below how many of these 12 Microsoft Excel shortcuts you didn't know and which one is your favorite that you'll start using right away. Let's get started. Of course, you already know how to move around the spreadsheet using the arrow keys on your keyboard, but did you know that if you hold down the control key on your keyboard and use the arrow keys, you can jump from one edge of the data to the other? So as you can see here, I can jump to the four corners, I can jump down to the bottom, jump straight across to the next part where the block of averages is at the bottom, jump to the right hand side of that block of averages, and, and jump to the edges of any section of data just by using control and the arrow keys. At number two, if you have a large spreadsheet, you may already know that you can use the page up and page down keys on your keyboard to move one page down or one page up your spreadsheet. But did you know that if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, the page down key on your keyboard will jump one page to the right and the page up key on your keyboard will jump one page to the left. At number three, you may already know that you can use Control Home to jump to the first cell in a spreadsheet and Control End to jump to the last cell in your spreadsheet. But did you know that you can also use Control G on your keyboard to bring up the go to and then simply type in the address or name of any uh, cell in your spreadsheet to jump straight to that cell. At number four. You probably know that you can press enter to move one cell down, but did you know that you can hold the shift key and when you press enter, you'll move one cell up. Similarly, you may already realize that you can press tab to move one cell to the right. But again, holding shift, the tab key will now move one cell to the left. At number five, if we highlight a group of cells and we write a formula, in this case equals the average of all of these grades and then we press enter we only get the formula appearing in the first of the selected cells however if we highlight all of these cells and type equals average and select these grades and then hold down control and press enter it will replicate that formula into all of the cells selected at number six, to quickly apply the currency format, simply select a cell and press Control Shift and the dollar sign. And similarly, to quickly format a cell value with a percentage, hold down Control Shift and the percentage sign. At number seven, this is the absolute fastest way of adding up a group of cells. Simply click underneath or to the right hand side of the group of cells that you want to add up and press Alt equals, and then press Enter. At number eight, in this cell, the formula includes a reference to a group of cells. What's the fastest way of being able to select the group of cells that are referenced in a formula? The answer is to click on the cell that contains the formula and press Control and the left square bracket that will automatically select all cells on your spreadsheet that are referenced or included in the selected formula. At number nine, if you want to select the entire column in which you are currently active, simply press control and space. If you want to select the entire row of the cell that you're currently in, simply press shift space. At number 10, to quickly insert today's date, just press control and the semicolon. 
To insert the current time, press Control shift and the colon. At number 11, to quickly add a border around any selection of cells, press Control shift and the ampersand or AND sign. To remove a border, simply press Control shift and the underscore. At number 12, sometimes formulas can be producing unexpected results because cells don't actually contain numbers. They may contain text or number formats that are hiding fractions. So here's a quick way of applying the general number format to all selected cells. Select the cells and press Control, Shift and the tilde sign. And that will make sure that the format for all selected cells is general number. So there we are, 12 keyboard shortcuts for Microsoft Excel. So do leave a comment below, how many of those did you not know? And which of those do you think, yeah, that's going to work for me? Uh, that's the favourite one, that's going to save me some time. Obviously keyboard shortcuts are very personal, very unique, depending on your use of Excel and what you need to do with it. Uh, but if some of those do find themselves going into your workflow, into the way you use Excel, leave a comment below, let me know. If you like this video, please please do give it a like, that makes a huge difference both to my happiness and to the channel. And of course, if you found this useful, you may want to consider subscribing if you haven't already. So make sure you click subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are published. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.